We have high pressure overhead this morning. That's keeping the weather quiet and temperatures are fairly comfortable as well. Many of us in the 20s, but warmer as you look towards the north. 32 in Plattsburgh, 31 in Newport and 30 in Messina and Montreal. I think most towns will be in the 40s this afternoon with a few more clouds mixing in and Friday, by the way, is looking mostly quiet, but more clouds as well with temperatures right around where they will be this afternoon. So that covers Thursday and Friday. Let's talk about Saturday. Now the snow will start very wet because there'll be a little mixing on the front end, but as the storm gets colder, the snow will turn a bit more powdery. Still tough to move, especially once you get that solid base layer. So expect some difficult shoveling as the storm leaves. Heaviest snow 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Saturday and on the back edge, Looks to be pretty gusty. Winds 40 to 50 miles per hour will make for a lot of blowing snow and perhaps some isolated power outages. So here's future cast throughout the day on Friday. No big issues, maybe a few flurries in the mountains. The steadier snow doesn't start to get here until the early part of the overnight, and that's mostly in northern New York. You can see the first bit of snow spreading in there, and then it slowly comes to the east. This is 3 o'clock. You can see it might start as rain in the Champlain Valley, but by the time 8 o'clock rolls around, everybody is seeing snow and the snow rapidly spreads to the east as we go into the middle part of the day. These darker blues you see indicate very heavy snowfall rates, perhaps over one to two inches per hour. And then all of this starts to leave Saturday evening. So when you add it all up, it looks like a widespread six to 12 inches for most towns with the best chance for a foot in the northern greens, parts of the Northeast Kingdom, and also spots of the Adirondacks. Farther to the south, more of a mix in play, so totals are slightly less. But if the storm trends colder, or perhaps it trends farther east, I could easily see the 6 to 12 going all the way to the Massachusetts border. And here are the winds on the back edge of the storm out of the northwest. Could find some isolated power outages in southern Vermont, so we'll keep an eye on that for you. Alert weather on Saturday for all of those factors combined. Sunday looking quieter but breezy and cold. Highs likely stuck in the 20s that day. And then going forward, guys, we have a lot of days in the 40s, even close to 50 as we look past St. Patrick's Day.